we are surrounded by living things not just by plants and animals but also by tiny bacteria insects and trillions of microorganisms about which we hardly think in our daily lives if we try to conceive the life of an individual through time we see it as birth growing up reproduction and then death is this what life is all about well we don't really live our lives that way we interact with other people we share our needs and our feelings with them just like us the life of other organisms is not just about birth reproduction and death they also interact with others just as we do let's take the most simple case of flowering plants and bees these plants produce a sugar like substance called nectar which is present in the central part of the flower beautiful petals of the flower stand high up shouting at the worker bees hey here's your nectar come take it when the bees try to take the nectar some of the pollen grains stick to them this helps these plants to pollinate bees and flowering plants have a very tight friendship but just as its human counterpart some organisms betray this friendship this yucca moth who was supposed to pollinate the yucca plant lets down this friendship the moth lays her egg inside the flower but doesn't pollinate it this moth uses yucca flower for her benefit <laughs> this moth is a cheater we could see a similar friendship inside the oceans this lemon shark has some remora fishes attached to it a remora fish feeds on the ectoparasites on shark's skin and receives its food while shark gets a spa treatment in this case also there are cheaters Sometimes these cleaner fish also try to eat the skin of the shark betraying him <laughs> if remora fish tries to eat more of shark's skin the shark shuns away leaving the remora fish empty stomach most of the time remora fish doesn't cheat and continues this friendship wholeheartedly some animals <laughs> use this approach of cheating to catch its prey this is the angler fish It lives in the deepest part of the ocean. Sunlight doesn't penetrate to that depth. This fish has an extended antenna growing out of its head. The tip of this antenna is fluorescent. It glows brightly in pitch dark ocean during its prey. Smaller fishes are attracted by this glow and follow it only to fall victim to the jaws of angler fish. We are no different from other organisms. We are also friends with bacteria present in our guts. Gut bacteria play a vital role in digestion and even in the secretion of some hormones. As they benefit us, we provide them a necessary environment to multiply and grow colonies. If these gut bacteria started to cheat on you, it would be terrible for your stomach. Some organisms go beyond cheating. and are pure antagonist for others they are parasites consider the gordian worm its host is a cricket gordian worm needs water to mate but cricket tends to shun away from water so when the worm is inside cricket it shuts down cricket's navigation system cricket gets confused and jumps around randomly eventually reaching water Once the cricket is inside water, gordian worm tears the cricket's body to come out and lay eggs. Let's look at another case. This is a caterpillar. Although it looks normal from outside, there are parasitic wasp larvae present inside its stomach, each with the size of a grain of rice. These larvae feast on caterpillar's blood. but avoid biting the vital organs of its host when the larvae are fully matured they cut their way out through the skin of the caterpillar at the same time releasing chemicals that paralyzes the host the larvae break through the caterpillar's stomach after they are out they spin silk and cocoon to enter the stage of a pupa well it doesn't end yet the wounded caterpillar helps them out 
the caterpillar swings its own silk around the larvae, adding extra protection. That's because the wasp virus has infected the caterpillar's nervous system. Now the caterpillar becomes a bodyguard of the larvae that infested it. It will watch over them tirelessly until it starves to death. What would philosophers have to say about the meaning of life of this caterpillar? There are many different ways plants and animals interact with each other, which we don't know yet. Recent studies also show that organisms can move from being parasites to friends and vice versa in just a few generations. Plants and animals interact with each other just as we do. They show friendship, they take care, they cheat and they fight as well. All these things which happen in your life takes place on this planet every moment. It is these emotions of nature which makes the earth's ecosystem work and our life possible. So look around you and see what nature is saying and never stop questioning.